Hello, good morning. This video is intended for my learners for them to better understand the lesson. On uh, lesson in grade 8, quarter 3, module 1, which is all about the particle nature of matter. So in your activity, matter is all around. You have to list down different examples of matter. So you can visit your kitchen, your sala, your bedroom, or even you look around, you go outside and look around. So you can identify many kinds of matter. So it is important that you have to understand what is matter. So matter is anything that has mass and volume. So what is mass? So mass is the amount of material contained in a body. So it is the amount of matter in your body or in any kind of matter. How about volume? Volume is the space occupied by an object. So if you know that there is mass, or if you know that there is volume in a particular material, we can classify it as a matter. We have here the weighing scale. This is uh, one of the materials or tool or instrument wherein it is used to measure mass. So the units that uh, we use in measuring mass include, uh, include kilogram, gram, uh, centigram, decagram, microgram. So those are the units for mass. So if I ask you to stand on this weighing uh, scale and, and measure your mass, probably you may come up with uh, like 40 kilograms or 50 kilograms. And that is the amount of matter present in your body. So this is another instrument that we can use to measure the mass of matter. This is what we call the kitchen balance or we can also call it the pan balance. Uh, say, uh, say for example, you want to take the mass of this apple here, 125 grams. So the amount of matter present in this apple is equal to 125 grams. So I'm going to show you different examples of matter. So we have here the perfume, the water inside the glass, the alcohol, we have cup, we have a piece of wood here. The book, we have the watch, we have here a foam, ball pen, eyeglasses, hairbrush, we have a remote control, and also the air inside a plastic bag is an example of matter. So all of these things that I'm showing you are examples of matter. So if you look around, you can see many kinds or different kinds of matter. So I hope you know now what is also matter. You see mass in different labels. Say for example, this one, it measures 200 grams. Another one, another example is, uh, this is... 235 grams. Another example. Uh, this is 150 grams. So we, we usually see a mass of different products in their labels. Its vitamin has a mass of 500 milligrams. So this is another example of mass. Which is found in the label of this product which is 500 grams what about volume what is volume 
So, volume is the amount of space occupied by an object. So, for solids, regular solids, we can uh, take the volume by uh, multiplying the length, the width, and the thickness of the material or matter. How about for liquids? For liquids, we use to measure the volume of liquids using beaker or graduated cylinder in the laboratory. I'm going to show you some examples. So, how do we measure the volume of this book? First, we take the length of the book. That is uh, 27 centimeters. Then, the width. The width of the book is uh, 20.5 centimeters. And lastly, the thickness. The thickness of the book is... So the thickness is 2 centimeters. So in order to get the volume of this solid, this is a regular solid, multiply the length times the width times the thickness. I'm going to show you uh, the volume of different product labels. Like for example, this one, the volume is 1.89 liters. So for liquids, we use liters as the unit. Another example is this bottle. The volume occupied by this bottle is 1,000 1,000 ml or it is equivalent to 1 liter. Another example is the volume of this alcohol. This is equal to 500 ml or 500 milliliters. Another example showing volume is the air inside this plastic bag. So, the air inside this plastic bag fills the entire container. So, that is the volume occupied by the air inside this plastic bag. So, gases also occupy space. They also have masses. Next, what is the particle nature of matter? So, particles can be Atoms, molecules, or ions. There are four basic principles on the particle nature of matter. Number one, matter is made up of tiny particles. Number two, there are spaces between the particles of matter. Number three, that the particles are in constant motion, meaning the particles keep on moving all the time. Number four, there are forces that act between these tiny particles of matter. And these forces can enable the particles to combine with another particle. So we can explain the particle nature of matter using the particle model. So the smallest particle of matter, so we assume that this is the smallest particle of matter. And this is smallest particle of matter is what we call an atom. So the word atom came from the Greek word atomus, which means very small and indivisible. So the particles of solids, the so solids are very close and compact. So these are the particles of solids. So, you, you will notice that solids are very close, very close and compact. 
How about for liquids? Particles of liquids have spaces between them. So you will notice that there are spaces between the particles of liquid. So there are spaces. So for liquids, there are spaces between their particles, uh, making them, uh, so they have the ability, liquids have the ability to flow because of these tiny spaces between their molecules. For gases, gases have very wide spaces between the particles. So the particles are very far from each other. Very far from each other. So they can move freely. So like liquids, they have the ability to flow. Therefore, liquids and gases are called fluids. So we call them fluids. They have the ability to flow. Liquids and gases can flow. So, these are the particles of solids, liquids, and gas. So, we can explain the particle nature of matter using this particle model. So, I hope uh, it's clear now about the particle nature of matter. So let's have a very simple experiment on particle nature of matter. So we have here water and coffee. You observe what will happen with the particles of water and coffee. So there you have seen that the particles of coffee, which is a solid, move within the particles of water so you will notice that the particles are still moving the particles move down then they move up so meaning that uh, water and coffee are made up of tiny particles number two the particles have spaces between them number three the particles are in constant motion and in number four part uh, in number four principle the particles have forces between the, their particles meaning they have the ability to combine with another particle to form a molecule so there uh, in this experiment we have proven the basic principles about the particle nature of matter. So I hope you understand this lesson. So let us summarize what, you, what we have taken up. Number one, what is matter? Matter is anything that has mass and volume. Number two, mass is the amount of matter contained in a material. Number three, Volume is the space occupied by an object. Number four, particle, the smallest particle of matter is what we call an atom. Atom plus another atom is equal to molecule.